okay thanks for watching um, today I'm going to show you a little bit about content editable it's an attribute within HTML um, and it allows you to basically change some of the contents of your web page on the fly I suppose and then uh, using some back-end technology like uh, back-end scripting languages like PHP then you can then save that to the file etc so this is exactly what I've done here this was a a small project I developed just for myself um, <laughs> primarily to see see what would happen um, and it's, it's actually turned out okay I've used a uh, responsive framework from Zurb, Zurb Foundation um, as you can see it's just one of their templates but bog standard template reasonably nice layout so and what I've done is within a slide menu I've added an edit button now this will allow the anything with a certain ID to have a little icon appear next to it which tells the user that they can edit the content and then from there we could go in and edit the content um, as we see fit and then what well, you'll see here we go edit and as you can see a little icon I'll close the menu a little icon appears next to each editable area so we've got one two three and four if we click the little pencil you can see it's surrounded by a dotted box which notifies the user that you can change the content so um, just change me okay and then we'll close that now the moment I click the little icon again that's actually saved um, with PHP and Ajax to a text file at the back end again we'll click that now, la 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 just add some some gumph another one this time we'll remove some data just leave the three dots there and we'll close that and at the end of it we'll turn off the global edit function and then from there what we'll do is everything should be saved so if I do control F5 there you go just to prove the gumph that was there has been taken out that stayed the same and the change me has um, held, taken the input again so the every time we do control F5 or F5 just to refresh the page we get a page load event using uh, jQuery um, it's, it's not ideal at the moment I've got a, a separate uh, text file for each of the, the content areas in the future I hope to just use a I want one te text file and then pull in the data and then distribute it distribute the JSON data um, to the appropriate areas within the, the website so I hope that's helped someone um, if it has I will go into more detail and um, put the code up on github if anyone wants to play around with it edit abuse it or do whatever so um, it's nice to give something back so um, Again, if it helps someone, great. Um, if not, then it's just something I've been playing with. So um, thanks for watching, and um, I hope to do a couple of more videos in the future.